Well, the Raiders uh, get their seventh win of the season. They win 23-20 overtime on a Christmas Eve game that at least on the East Coast actually crossed over into Christmas Day. And obviously, it's, it's a very important game in the history of the Raiders organization. Uh, two reasons. Uh, one, we know for a fact is because it's Charles Woodson's last game uh, playing at Oakland. You know, it's his last home game as a Raiders, and it was really emotional. You know, watching him doing the, the Raiders cheer, and you know, when it went to overtime, and you saw him in the backfield, you just wanted him to go in there and score. It would have been so awesome. But, um, you know, it's, it's a huge loss for the team. I mean, because, like I, I said a couple of weeks ago, you know, he's still playing at a very, very high level. It's not like he's a dude who's, you know, just kind of a shell of his former self. I mean, this year he's probably playing better statistically than he did, you know, the year the Packers won the Super Bowl. I mean, he's playing better than he played in a championship year, I would say. So, you know, having him go out, you know, I really want to see him play one more season. That would have been great. But, you know, you got to tap out when you got to tap out. And, uh, you know, he's going to be back with the Raiders. He's going to be coaching. He's going to be doing something. He's going to have some sort of uh, position. But, you know, he, he had a great run. You know, he started off as a Raider, left for Green Bay, won a championship, but then came back to the organization. I mean, he is, when it's all said and done, he's one of the ten greatest Raiders to ever play the game. You know, I would have loved to have seen him have one more run, one more playoff game. But, you know, that's the way life works. And like he said, you know, in his big farewell speech at the end, you know, this team, it's going places. And that's uh, indicative, I would say, of the game we saw last night. Now, the Chargers are not a great team. And last night, the Raiders made a lot of really sloppy, boneheaded mistakes. Derek Carr had a lot of miscues early on. He threw another interception. Overall, he had one of his weaker statistical showings. You know, I don't think he even tapped out the 200 yards, which is kind of sad. But then again, Amari Cooper wasn't playing either. So he had to make do with uh, Seth Roberts and Michael Crabtree, who did come up big when it counted. So I'll give him that. And obviously, Latavius Murray, you know, first Raider to cross over a thousand yards in the season since DMC did a couple of years back. So they had a very competent run game. Uh, Khalil Mack got another safety. That was awesome. And, you know, just looking around, you know, it's a team where you saw a lot of fundamental flaws. They took a while to get going. Uh, the receivers definitely, you know, they had some drop passes. The run game took a while to get it established. Uh, they're still, the Raiders are still kind of getting beat on the deep pass. I've said this a million times, but when the draft comes along, they're going to have to get the new corners. That's priority number one. They build on that. They've got a solid front seven. They're going to be a much improved defensive unit. But, you know, just watching the team, you know, they rallied back. You know, they, they dropped down 7-0. They came back. Latavius Murray got a 22-yard run, put him up 7-7. And then, you know, it was a back-and-forth struggle. It was 12-7 at one point, then 19-7, then 19-12. The Raider, they came back, got that huge turnover from Malcolm Smith, uh, facilitated a touchdown, made it a 20, what was it, 2017 affair, 2020, and tied it up on a field goal. And went to overtime, and Janikowski got the kicker, and the defense came in when he counted. And the Raiders conclude quite possibly their last game ever in Oakland with a uh, thrilling overtime victory. And, of course, that's the other thing that's kind of lingering overhead you know, this entire season. You look at this team, 7-8, uh, and eight, you know, they're going to finish no worse than 7-9. and nine. Just a sub-500 which is a better season than they've had, you know, since, uh, you know, the uh, Tom Cable, Hugh Jackson era. But even that, you know, you look at this team, since they made the Super Bowl back in uh, 2002, 2003, this is, no matter what happens, going to be at least their third best season since then. So it's a team that's definitely on an upward trajectory after only winning three games last year. They come soldier back almost 500. You know, I think they'll probably actually beat Kansas City next week because they're not really caring. And, uh, you know, it's a team like, you know, Charles Woodson said, they're on an upward trajectory. I mean, they got all the offensive weapons in the backfield. Uh, you might want to get at least one more running back, uh, I think, to make them uh, a truly uh, championship contending team. But the defense is much improved. you got to improve the secondary, get you know, the quarterbacks in there, you know, kind of beef that up against the passing attack. And we've got a competent team. I mean, Derek Carr, you know, he's still a little shaky. He's shown some inconsistency, but he's making the passes when they count. He's got the weapons. This team's going to win a lot of games next year. And then, of course,
course, there's the big question that we still don't know an answer to. We probably won't know an answer until at least February. Where will the Raiders end up playing in 2016 and beyond? Now, for those of you that aren't in the loop, there's the whole big uh, partnership with San Diego uh, where the Chargers and Raiders actually want to split a lease on a new stadium in Los Angeles. Uh, that's one scenario. Of course, the Rams also want to relocate Los Angeles, so they have a competing uh, or a bowl um, idea floating, so we're still not sure what's going to happen there. Can some crazy consortium happen between them, or maybe the Raiders and Rams partner, or the Chargers and Rams partner? It can happen. Uh, but right now, the odds of the Raiders playing in Oakland, especially playing in OCO next season, seems very, very unlikely. Uh, like I said, I want to see the team play in L.A. I think it's probably the best fit for them. Uh, they can't play in Oakland. This new stadium is not going to happen. So that kind of leaves them, you know, with, with a backup. You know, if the L.A. deal doesn't come to fruition, if uh, the new stadium doesn't come to fruition in Oakland, which it most definitely will not, then what's going to happen to the Raiders? I mean, do you, do you make them play in Santa Clara? I mean, do you move them to some really off-the-wall, third party or are they going to be playing in San Antonio you know is this the team that's going to be playing in I don't know Portland maybe or, or even maybe crazier is this team's going to be moved to London you know it's one of those things where it seems really really crazy and irrational right now but you know stranger things have happened the idea of the Raiders moving back to Oakland circa 1992 would just seem absolutely ludicrous you know we saw it happen there so right now, we don't know. This is a team where there's a lot's going to happen in the offseason. There's going to be a big draft. There's going to be a new stadium, a new zip code planned somewhere. But right now, you look at this core team. And like I said, you know, when I talk about the, the team after the Green Bay loss on Sunday, you know, the fate of this team, we're going to assume this team is made up of over the next two games. And we saw it, I think, in this game right here, a lot to be optimistic about. Yeah, they make mistakes. Yeah, they're still doing some boneheaded things. They're getting a lot of penalties, but they're coming through in clutch. They're playing much better defensively. Uh, their offense is much more versatile than it has in years past. And uh, you know what? When it matters, they put points on the board. And, of course, uh, they're out of playoff contention. Next week, we're looking to play spoiler against Kansas City. And nothing would be more hilarious to me than uh, beating Kansas City and keeping them out of the playoffs. That's not as good as making the playoffs ourselves, but it's just as dandy, in my opinion. I think that's just as great as, you know, uh, actually getting in a wild card bid, you know, keeping them out would be hilarious. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Lots of things happening in Raider Nation. Charles Woodson, he did a heck of a run. The open run itself, it was pretty entertaining. And now, the future's up in the air. I don't know about you though, but I'm actually kind of looking forward to it.